All right, guys, Jay Abrada Performance here. I want to try to put something to rest. Um, you know, and here we go. Shops, <laughs> um, they tell customers on a C6 that if you don't hook up the kick down, it's going to burn up the transmission. And I had somebody contact me not too long ago, had a shop build them a C6. Uh, I guess it burned up, I don't know, in 100 miles or something uh, really fast. And the guy said, yeah, well, that's because you didn't have downshift valve hooked up. Uh, so too bad, no warranty kind of thing. So well, let's take a look at this, all right? Here's our downshift valve, or kick down valve, whatever you want to call it. This is just line, okay? The red is just line. This just sits here. Now, this downshift valve is engaged in this schematic. Let's follow the oil and see where it goes. So follow along with me here. We got a branch here, but that's okay. Let's come up here. This here. This is your 2-3 shift valve. All right. Oil is on the back side, or however you want to look at it. This blue oil is the governor pressure, okay? This pressure varies and pushes the valves down on the 1-2 and 2-3 shift valve. So you can see that blue governor oil there. This line oil is on the smaller area of the valve, uh, but what that's doing is it's opposing this a larger area, but this pressure is also less. Uh, so what happens here, this downshift valve sends line pressure, full line pressure, to the opposite end of this 2-3 shift valve, and tries to prevent it from shifting. It's basically going to delay the shift. So if we follow this oil. It just comes over to here. This is just a loop. Okay, it's kind of weird, but this is that branch we were at. That branch comes over, and then this opposes on this area of the one-two shift valve. Governor is up here. And it's doing the same thing. It's opposing the governor pressure. Now, I want you to notice. Correct me if I'm wrong. Put it in the comments. Or make your own video. This oil. That's it. That's all it's doing. It's only going to the shift valves. It is not changing pressure. Okay, I want you to understand this. If it was going to change pressure, it would have to come over to here, um, probably on our, our boost valve. It's the only way it could change pressure. It's not changing pressure. So if you do not hook it up, it's not lowering line pressure or anything like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do here... I'm going to put you on pause, I'm going to set up the stand, and I've got a C6 on the dyno, and we're going to run it, and you're going to see, uh, you won't be able to see me finagle the lever and the gauges at the same time, because they're far away from each other, but um, if I put bring the camera too far away from the gauges, you won't be able to see them, but you'll just have to take my word for it and I'll tell you when I'm actuating the kick down lever on the trans and you're gonna see the pressure stays the same now one thing I gotta tell you on um, this unit here I've modified it so the cutback circuit is no longer activated and what the cutback circuit is that will basically cut line pressure down as road speed increases so you know what maybe where the confusion lies with this is that if you were to activate the kickdown 
and it downshifts depending on what the road speed is and the vacuum level and all that you would possibly leave that cutback sir you know in a stock valve body you know when it would downshift as a result of the kick down the pressure may come back up because you've downshifted not necessarily because the downshift valve itself has changed the pressure it's just changed the gear and with the cutback circuit activated this could potentially show okay yeah we kicked down the pressure went up so it makes you think okay well yeah the downshift lever is varying the pressure well it's really not uh, it's just varying the shift valve so in a unit like what I have here the cutback circuit's been disabled which means the pressure does not cut back with road speed the pressure only varies with the vacuum signal and we take that road speed equation out of it so that could be an area of confusion for people I guess you know if I wanted to be real thorough I would do this test you know without the cutback circuit but I, I already know what it's gonna do and I just told you what it's gonna do but uh, so anyways I want you to know this unit here I'm gonna run I've disabled the cutback circuit so doesn't matter what gear it's in doesn't matter the road speed the pressure only varies with the vacuum signal so let's go to the dyno and I'm gonna fire this thing up and I will activate the kick down and you will see that it's really not going to change pressure. Um, it might a little bit, like you might see momentarily, you know, spikes or dips just as it makes a gear change or whatever. Uh, that's kind of normal just during a gear change because, you know, oil's having to rush in or rush out somewhere. So, you know, you might see little flickers in the gauge and things like that. But, uh, all right, let me uh, put you on pause here and go get you set up over at the dyno all right here we are so let me fire this up okay we're in neutral uh, vacuum is hooked up I don't know what the vacuum is, probably about 18 or so. So you can see the pressure is about that minimum. Uh, so just if you're wondering, I'll run this. This is uh, direct. This is this is tapping the release side of the servo. So we'll have pressure here in third gear. This side pool of pressure, this side pool of flow. Alright, so I'm going to put it in gear, and I'm just going to make a run through the gears. Alright, here we go. Shut this off so you can hear me. Um, 
So yeah, I skipped second gear because I, you know, we went into it with the kick down on, and then when I pulled all that delay away, you know, just basically backed out of throttle, it was ready to go into third, so um, it just stroked both the shift valves. Once that oil from the kick down went away, that line pressure. So, uh, I totally expected that. But you can see, I mean, the pressure is really no different with that kick down lever engaged. It's, it's the same. Uh, so, I hope that kind of clears this up for people. Um, let me, well, we already did that, didn't we? So. Because I engaged it once we got, once it did make a shift, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't really think I have anything else to show you on that. It just, it just doesn't have an effect on line pressure. It affects the shifting, but it doesn't affect the line. And you can see it in the circuit. So... Okay. I hope that helps. If you guys think I'm wrong, well... Tell me why I'm wrong, but I know I'm not, but if you if you think I'm wrong, uh, let me know, you know, let, let's hear something constructive, uh, or let's hear a scenario maybe you want me to try, you know, no, I know it'll make a difference if you, you know, if you were to blankety blank, you, you didn't do that, so this scenario didn't create that so you know whatever it is you think but uh, in any case I do recommend now for the record I do recommend you hook up that kick down absolutely but if you don't it's not gonna burn the transmission up I want you to understand that it has nothing to do with that other units different story C6 it won't burn it up. So I hope I made that clear. And um, all right. So let me know what you think. Right or wrong, you know? Did I did I explain this? Did I prove it to you? Or do you guys still think if the customer doesn't hook the kick down up, the kick down up, they're gonna burn the unit up? And explain to me why, because. I've been doing this a long time. I've got a lot of customers that don't hook that up because of, you know, crazy carburetors and things, and they just don't want to do it. Uh, they just use the shifter to downshift rather than worrying about, you know, with doing it by itself. So I can't ever say I've seen that a problem. So I don't, I don't scold anybody for it. But if you wanted to auto shift at a high RPM, this is going to delay your shifts, absolutely. Which that you did see because it didn't want to shift once that was engaged. It would have, but I'm not going to stretch this dyno out that much. It's I honestly I try not to run this motor much over 4,000 anymore, and I know with kick down engage it's going to shift you on that. So I didn't want to do it. Sorry. Uh, so, anyways. Um, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.